Hello, I'm here. Good morning. My name is Adam Smith. I'm calling from NobelPrize.org. Many congratulations on the award. Thank you. Um, we just spoke with Paul Milgram, and he said that he heard the news by you walking across the street and ringing his doorbell. <laughs> well, that's right, because he had turned his phone off for the to get a good night's sleep, and so uh, <laughs> somebody had to wake him. I just and he lives across the street, so I just walked over and knocked on the door. <laughs> I roused him. I think I think this must be a first in the history of the Nobel Prize. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. How many times? Is, first, to have a knock on the door, which sounds not like something from the 19th century, and secondly, that in fact the two of us live only uh, what 40 meters apart. Precisely. And, and you break in the news. So, what did you actually say to each other? What was his reaction? Well, <clears throat> I said congratulations. Uh, he later told me that his reaction was that. He thought that maybe he only he had won, and that why wasn't I included, which was very sweet of him. I've always thought of him as the leader in all of this. So, uh, but I take great pride in him because he was my PhD student. Mm. So I take a lot of pride in having sort of at an early stage influenced him and in this whole field of market design and auction design. This, of course, by the way, is the third of my students who's won Nobel prizes. That's right, because you also had Al Roth and Bengt Tomstrom, didn't you? That's right. So this is what uh, I had been telling people, that if uh, Paul won, I would have a trifecta. <laughs> that is, this, you know, the perfect combination of events. That's turned out well. In cricketing terms, we'd call it a hat-trick. <laughs> a hat-trick. Ah, oh, very good. <laughs> I asked, I asked um, Paul Milgram this question also, but what is the magic between you that makes you so productive? Well, I've been more of a speculative thinker, and he is very precise. I mean, the spectrum auction designs relied a lot on very innovative elements that that he put in. I was more of a traditional auction, but he was so innovative in designing an auction that what we call a package auction, that is a situation in which uh, buyers can bid for packages of licenses it might be compliments, it might be substitutes, it's all very complicated. And uh, in a sense, he thought outside the box and created a really innovative design with uh, good attention to the right, having the right kinds of incentives for bidders to be uh, truthful in their bid, you know, somewhat <laughs> truthful. But of course, you, know, one, you want an outcome that's sufficient. The, people that value the licenses the most to be the ones who would be winning them. Mm. So it, it's a complicated design and we went on over time. That first auction started in, I think, December and ended in March, you know, involved billions of dollars. So I'm just getting a message here from Bink. <laughs> 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 he just called on the other phone. So that's happy news from Bink. Goodness. It's yeah. Very, I've always been very proud of Bink and Al and Paul. They are uh, wonderfully talented fellows. In these socially distanced times, it's a bit difficult, but obviously w w what needs to happen is that you all come together again to celebrate this new event. Uh, that's right. It'd be nice. My warmest congratulations again. Let me say it's so appropriate that you name Adam Smith. <laughs> the name Adam Smith can, of course, get me to trouble because there have been economics laureates in the past who have rather disbelieved that Adam Smith would call on the day of the announcement. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's been a huge pleasure speaking to you. I hope we can speak at greater length, but for the moment, um, wishing you a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations again. Bye. Bye. Bye.